In the last video, we have discussed about four, uh, two cross on multiplexer, and in this video, we'll be discussing about four cross on multiplexer and how to implement that in uh, your multi scene. So, while discussing four cross on multiplexer, so what we'll do, we'll just draw a multiplexer dummy here, means a box which represents a multiplexer four cross one, and because it's a four cross one multiplexer, now it has four inputs here. So, four inputs will be decided that which input is going to appear across the output. So, that is one output here. Now, which input will be appearing across the output that will be decided by two selection lines here S1 and S0. Why two selection lines? Because we have four inputs to select. So, if I take two variables, then I can create four addresses and uh, for like that we can create the four cross and multiplexer. Now, we will go into the truth table here. We have two variables, one output here. If the selection lines are 0, 0, in that case the output becomes I0. If the selection line is 0, 1, then the output is I1. Similarly, for 1, 0, output is I2 and for 1, 1, the output is I3. Fine. Now, with this, if we see what will be the Boolean expression what we are going to implement, so I will be equals to, so I0 into S0 dash S1 dash plus I1 into S0 dash and <coughs> sorry. So, I1 will be your S0, I1 into S0, S1 dash plus I2 into S1, S0 dash plus I3 into S1, S0. Fine. This will be our uh, Boolean expression we need to implement. So, I will remove all the parts and we will try to simulate the circuit here. Okay. To simulate the circuit, what to do? First, uh, I need the uh, logic gates on the connections here. So, how many logic gates is required here? As you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4 AND gates are required, 3 input AND gates I need. So, here I will go and I will go to all so all groups here. We will search for the AND gate and we need a 3 input AND gate here. So, 1, then 2, then 3 and I need 4. Okay, four AND, and, group, uh, and gates are required. Next, what is required? All the outputs of the AND gate will be connected to your OR gate. So, here we will take OR gate and that will be a four input OR gate because we have four uh, uh, LAN gates here. So, four input OR gate here. Okay, now what else I need? I need the uh, interactive digital switch. So, I will take the interactive digital switches. So, one I am taking and the rest I will just copy paste. Okay, so let's do the connection. First, I'll do the outputs of all the AND gates to the OR gate. Okay, now this is the output of the AND gate, means this in, uh, the OR gate uh, completion is done. Next, from this one, I need three. So I'll just copy paste one, two, three, and I need one more that is four. Okay. And then also I need the two selection lines here. So, one selection line I will keep it here and another selection line I will keep it here. So, what I will do, I will just rotate this. So, it will be easy to understand, visualize and uh, implement. So, I have just rotated it. So, let me rename the things also. So, this one I will label as let us say I0. Okay, And this one will be labeled as I1 this one will be, I will be labeling at I2 and the last one as I3. Fine. Similarly, these two I will label as S1 and S0. So, this is S1 and this will be S0. Okay, now, we will do the connection. So, see, first one is I0 into S0 dash S1 dash. So, I0 will be connected as it is here to the first gate. And along with that, what will be connected? One not with a NOT gate, it will be connected to the uh, I0. So, how to get the NOT gate? So, from here, we will get a NOT gate here. A simple NOT gate I can take. So, this is a NOT gate and I will place it here. Okay. So, two NOT gates will be required for S0, S0 also one is required. So, I will just rotate this NOT gates.
now these are the not gates here so i have just connected the not gates to this now to this and gate what will be connected s0 dash and s1 dash fine next one you can see here this is ig i1 into s0 s1 dash so i1 will be connected to the next and gate and that is s0 so here it is s0 okay so i need to move this little bit I need to move this little bit down. So that it will allow me to get the connection for that. If it is not moved and there is no space, so I am unable to do the connection here. Okay. So now this will this will be connected here. first one is s0 dash s1 dash next one it is let us do the connection like this okay so this is s0 dash and then s1 i am missing something this is s0 into s1 dash so s1 dash is this one so i'll just directly connect here so next one is i2 into s1 into s0 dash so i2 will be connected to this directly and then s1 so s1 means without the not gate i have to give the connection so this will be my s1 into s0 dash so here s0 dash is available here so i'll just connect s0 dash we can take the s0 dash from here also okay next is i3 to the last and gate here fine and then s1 into s0 so here this is s1 and another one is s0 okay now my circuit is complete so next i need a probe to see the output so i'll go to all groups and find a probe here so this probe will be indicating that whether the output is working or not so here i am connecting a probe and then i will connect this to the final output okay so before we verify let me just write the truth table again so truth table says that s0 sorry s0 s1 and here the output is there if 0 0 then output is i1 if 0 1 output is i2 sorry i0 output is i1 if 1 0 output is i2 and if 1 1 then the output is i3 okay now we'll very we'll be verifying that so how to verify so we'll simulate the circuit here now the circuit is simulated see the current situation of s0 s1 is what 0 0 that means my output should be i0 so to verify that if i change the So to verify that if I change the value of i1 sorry i0 then my output should change so whatever the value of i0 is there the same should be appearing there if i0 is 1 the probe is on that means the value is coming 1 is coming if not i0 but in this case if I change any of the other inputs then there will be no change in the output only i0 will be appearing across the output now if I change this input let's say to 1 0 so 1 0 means s1 is 1 s0 is 0 so s1 is 1 and s0 is 0 in this case i2 will be available at the output that means if i change the value of i2 then on, then the output will change but for change in any other input there is no effect on the output that you can see here fine this is how you can uh, implement design and implement a 4 cross 1 multiplexer in multisim so i hope you have understood this thank you